don't do any work on the Sabbath. I love when people brag. I love when they brag. I don't do work on the Sabbath. Well, yeah, we, I mean, if you take it literally, of course, you can try to be holier than thou. And, um, but to work on the Sabbath, well, number one, when you're when you're trying to when you're trying to get saved on the Sabbath, you know, when you're trying to do do work on the Sabbath, because you can't do works, you can't be saved by works alone, but through faith. Faith comes from hearing the Word of God. And, you know, so when you, when you do works on a Sabbath, throughout the entire church age, people have done they, it's, a, it's called a man-made gospel. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting at. Man-made gospel. It, it's called... It's like the Joel Osteen gospel of salvation. Just... Just say this simple prayer. Say, Lord, come into my life and uh, I make you my Lord and Savior. Okay, I make you my Lord and Savior. And we believe, me and Victoria, we believe if you said this simple prayer, you're good to go, damn it. And then, of course, you can go about your life and just continue sinning like usual. Pray that your flight isn't in the winter or on the Sabbath. Pray that your flight isn't when there's inactivity and decay. Uh, <clears throat> or on the Sabbath. You know, the time of rest where you're supposed to be resting. <clears throat> but not literally all right so the rapture the fake thing that's going to happen is definitely going to happen on a sabbath and there's going to be a lot of people working on that day a lot of people are going to be working on the sabbath because they're they have a lot of gadgets and doohickeys to coordinate and and beam over in this direction and beam over there. Get your just stay just don't worry about it. trying to just trying to figure out what the hold up is sometimes there's really no reason for a hold up other times there might be so yeah back to the Sabbath doing work on it trying to get yourself saved is one thing that God was had in mind keeping the Sabbath uh, and then when you're when you're sitting home or when you're not doing any work on the Sabbath and you're boasting about it well, you're just taking the Bible literally, like like everybody else's, and and also when you're at when you're on church on Saturday or on the Sabbath or Sunday or whoever, whatever day it it is, whoever thinks whatever, uh, everything's been changed anyway. So 
if you do that simple prayer on the Sabbath day and you try to get yourself saved and you just go ahead about your business and continue to lie like, like usual, like most Christians do, uh, they use that title, the name Christian, and then and then they say, well, I'm, I'm saved. I'm, I mean, I know it. I know I am. But yet they still cheat. They still lie. They still steal. And then the third aspect of doing work on the Sabbath is the people that are all in charge of lying to everybody with what we see in the skies and, and what everything that we're going to see produced on TV we're trying to get everybody deceived first and then here's what I here's what I do see afar off Donald Trump you know the other horn Steve's partner he's a uh, He's got these the 21 days that we're already talking about. The 21 days that uh, you know Michael's helped him with. Apparently, Michael helped him with uh, with uh, opening up the, the government. And so the 15th and the 16th. So it'll be the 15th into the 16th. Man, I, I really gotta, you guys really gotta, you guys really gotta calm down with shaking the freaking truck. Get me car sick. So it, go, it goes into the weekend, right? And uh, so it's the, it's the drama of, uh, what, what's, what's Trump gonna do on Monday, President's Day? What's he gonna do on the 18th, huh? What is Donald Trump going to do on on February 18th? What is he going to do on February 18th? You know, three days later, after the 15th, after that day of uh, the 21 days. And then come to find out on the 24th day of the first month. You can use it as the first month in that calendar because, you know, some, sometimes people do that. They use it as the first month. And... Um, So I'll say, I'll just take a, a wild guess. Oh boy. Well, why would you park like that unless you're looking for attention? I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh, there's gonna be a 30 day. That's uh, what, uh, what what is it gonna be, my lord? Uh, just look directly into the sun. It's going to be... A, I know I'm dragging out this this video, but I don't have anything else better to do. I'm just trying to think as I go, except for drive home. <clears throat> There's going to be a 30-day something, just something about 30 days, because from February 18th, and then you add 30 days, well, it lands right... Right when you better pray that your flight's not in the winter, the last day of winter, or on the Sabbath, like in that in that in that time frame area, it's something along the lines where, because that wall, it's about the wall being built in troublous times. It's about keeping the uh, illegal aliens out. You know, the illegal aliens keeping putting the wall up. The wall truly is really referring to uh, us, the, the, the wall, the, 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 you know, the, you're putting up a barrier, okay? It, it, you're just like, it's like you're clogging your pineal gland, just completely, you're not listening to God's people warning you about anything. Uh, so you got that, my goodness, you got that wall, right, that's blinding people, and... And Mexico is going to pay for that wall, even though they're not really going to pay for it or money, but they're going to pay for it. You guys are going to pay. 
And then you're building it with untempered mortar. Trump's saying how it could be destroyed, but it could it could be fixed if it's fixed. If it's destroyed, it could be fixed. If it's good, you could you, know, you could destroy it with acid if you put it. But it could be fixed. It's good. It's great. It's I could I could say I could call a national emergency. I cannot. I could do. I could. I could. I wouldn't. Should. Should. Could. Would. Uh, who knows? I can. I won't. I will. I might. Okay. That's how I talk like a freaking moron. And um, uh, it purposely. I, I. It's just the way it is. And. And the other one repeats himself, and it repeats himself, and the other one does. The, what the other one does, the other one repeats himself, and, and it repeats itself and goes backwards, and backwards, and forth, and forth. And uh, OCD has to repeat itself. It's like two times. Jimmy, two times. It's Stevie, two times. Two times, Stevie. Stevie, two times. So there's that, and that's that, and that's there. There's that, and that's there. And, and Trump does the same thing. He repeats himself. He, he just does the same thing, Trump repeats himself. That's what Trump does. He repeats himself. He does the same thing. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. I know you're not used to like people in Philly saying go ahead. I, I get it. People are just like, uh, are you, wh wh are you sure? That, what, you mean me? I, huh? I don't, I'm not, I'm sorry. You're going to have to go because I'm not, I don't trust you. Uh, so you got Jimmy two, you got Stevie two times because he likes to repeat himself two times, likes to say things twice. <sighs> These streets are terrible, man. They really are. Oh yeah, and like RFB, why does he always have to announce where he's driving? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? It's like getting on every. Oh yeah, um, all right, guys, I'm driving home now from work. It's a uh, three three two time time frame. I mean three two two. Uh. And I'm, I swear I'm driving. I, I, I swear. Uh, where was I? I'm sorry. I was somewhere along the lines of, um, uh, what was it? Trump. Oh, yeah, the timeline. The 30-day decree. It's, oh, yeah, the illegal aliens. Immigrants. Really talking about us, illegal aliens. And the being invaded by space aliens. They're still talking about us. We're being, we are invading their space. See what I'm saying? We are space aliens. We are, we are, we are invading them. We are invading their space because we are aliens to this world. This world, we don't, we don't follow what the world does. We, we're not part of this world. We're part of the, the earth. Oh, we're just not part of the world. So it'll, it'll be something along the lines where where uh, February 18th comes around, President's Day. It's the day that the president is going to say that it, we're signing a 30-day decree. And it's going to be 30 days... From that point on, 30 days, right? Just bear with me. I'm trying to get it all straight. Oh, my God. I swear. It's, this is too much. You know, all the money Philadelphia makes, and it, it just fix the damn streets. All those tickets you get from parking authorities... From parking meters and everything and paying it. Uh, I, I'm just trying to get it all in this one video. That way I never have to make another video again. Yeah. 30-day uh, decree. I'm just trying to figure what the script is. Because next is a 40. Next will be 40 days. And then after that is 21 days because it literally will be 21 days because from the 30 day decree going into uh, into the end of winter and then from that point on the 40 day period that I don't know to, we'll, we'll figure out what they're gonna say after after the 30 day decree but the 40 day period from uh, from 
praying that your flight isn't in the Sabbath or in the winter. On, we'll just say on the Sabbath day, the 23rd. I believe the 40-day period from that point on is May 1st. And then, well, that's truly when Michael's going to stand. I mean, that that is the true period when Michael's going to stand up, for real, for the next 21 days. And in that period of time, you'll have uh, the real 40-day period, which is uh, it's, it's technically, it's like... Well, it well, hey, you know what? It could possibly be. Actually, I got, I got, just got to, I got to go over it again. I got to go over it again. Uh, Genesis eight, when Noah, at the end of the forty days, he sent forth a raven and a dove to go to and fro, and the raven went to see if the waters were abated. They weren't, so the so the dove came back other and he stayed other seven days so it kind of sounds like the dove just <laughs> went out for seven days you know it took a long journey it just it kept flying i mean it took it takes a while for a dove to fly around the world right so if that's the case and it stayed yet other seven days then that's already seven days from 40 which means that would be May 7th and then into the 8th and then because he stayed the other seven days he went back out again and then um, this time he found an olive leaf plucked off which is the 14th 14th and the 15th and uh, that's you know that's that's uh, I believe that's when the fake rapture is going to happen yes that's when the fake rapture is going to happen and then the olive leaf is plucked off, but he stayed yet other seven days. So there's that part where I just got to read it carefully again because I'm not too certain, but it kind of is leaning in that direction because it is a 21 day period where Michael truly does stand up. And the second month, the 17th day of the month, really is May 21st into the 22nd evening morning and and then from that point on is 10 days so and then it's like and then uh but it's really seven days but then it's also three days combined seven and ten seven and three is ten and uh pray that your real flight isn't on isn't in the winter when it's completely inactivity and decay because there's nothing going to be going on except for miracles, signs, and wonders. And um, because the the waters will be abated. They will be abated. The olive leaf is plucked off. No one knew that the waters were abated. The olive leaf being plucked off in the 14th day of the month. And then staying yet until the 21st day of the month. When the waters are abated, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, hey. So the waters will be abated. No one knows that the waters are abated, but he still stayed another seven days. And until the, until the, uh, until it's time to talk, you know, I, I believe that May twenty first comes around. We're already going to know the waters are abated because as soon as that rapture happens on the 14th, the 70th full year, 70 full years are determined. 70 full years. At the very end of the 70th year, which is the last day possible. Forever and a day. Even, even into the next day. It's just to make people not believe it. Cause, but, but that's scripture that's how God writes the Bible so when, when I know that the waters are abated when I know that the olive leaf is plucked off when I know that the rapture is happening and it happens on that time frame and um, there's there's just no way around there's there's no way to deny that it's this information is coming straight from God 
You can't deny it. I know people don't like hearing it because they think it's prideful to say that God has given you information when he has. Where else do I get my information from? How else do I know what you guys are doing? How else do I know what April 7th, 2017 was? How did I know that it was the beginning of wars and rumors of wars? How did I know that it was that script? And it's continuing on. How did I know? That's right, I'm bragging. How did I know that Steve was going to sing the Rock and Robin song, which he never sung? Well, the proof is he never sung it. It was a surprise, remember? It was such a surprise. I know, Steve, you hate when I bring it up because it just... It, it's humiliating, it is. But it shouldn't be. You should be, like, grateful that somebody can know what you're doing without even being a part of your group. I don't know. I, I look at it that way. But maybe that's because I have a, a good heart. And um, I've already been cleansed. So I can really appreciate when people know what's going on before it happens. And they're straight getting their information just from the creator. Not from any surveillance team, not from people giving you information. No. So, how did I know that Steve was going to play the Michael standing up uh, Archangel ordeal starting with uh, December 24th of 2018? That, that The 8th exact complete year since your little signing there, Steve, from 2010. How did I know that you were going to play that role? Well, because you were talking about Michael down living in the van by the river, what he can do for you. You were you were all look, I know, okay, people do it all the time. They do a video beforehand telling you something that might happen or might not happen. And uh, it's a setup for a week or two later or wait a minute, you know, third twenty one days, that they're going to push the agenda and they're gonna they already have it planned, what they're gonna do. And then they go ahead and say it and do it or make a video about something or another and then and then hope that that's how it works out. But when you put a monkey wrench in the middle of it, well, it just screws up your entire plan. So how did I know that that's what it was with Michael, that script, Steve? Because you didn't produce the damn script. You were, you were leading up to it and it's just, there's the monkey wrench. It's like, oh, fucking Robin, how does he know? Who's telling him? Because I don't want to believe that it's God. And then the proof is your partner, Trump, comes out on the 25th. I was expecting you to come out on the 14th. On the 14th, if not at the latest, the 21st, that you were going to come out and say, that Michael again I'm just getting close okay this is this is play it's like it is like horseshoes it is uh, I mean uh, it's not like horseshoes wait a minute this horseshoes no horseshoes is when you get close it it doesn't count if you get close right Isn't that the way it works yeah you got to get the ring around the rosy but anyway it's close it's like hot warm warm very very you're, I mean you're almost burning lukewarmness on that one and then burning hot and then freezing cold so I'm just getting closer and closer and closer and closer that I figured on the 21st of January you were going to talk if not the 14th that you are going to mention something about Michael if I didn't do the video, that's exactly what you would have done. But I had to do the video to show you that I know. I, and I, see, I could have done it where, hey, look, everybody, I do, I, I did the video beforehand. See, I know. To all my subs. But again, when I say my message, my videos are for the elite. It's mainly for Steve right now. Because I know my counts dwindled down. I understand that. But I know people are still watching. And I also know that uh, my message is strictly for the elite anyway. And anybody else that wants to listen, that's fine. Anybody that don't want to listen, you, well, hey, sorry you took that job that you have to listen. And uh, so with your partner, the, the other horn, and that with that ram, the other horn, you, he was already, he did the script about being helped with something with, in return, which is the, the uh, federal government, 
for for three weeks for 21 days so i am right on that same path of understanding where you guys are in the bible that's all i'm trying to tell you so next is 30 days because steve already did the 10 days because he popped his head up after 10 days not making videos but i don't think that was pre-planned that was not pre-planned but anyway you did and then so we're going from we're going from uh, the lowest amount of days to the highest amount of days so we're going from 21 days now which Trump is doing and then coming up the 15th into the 16th you know 216 666 and uh, I love how people say that I love how I love how you got um, uh, Zachary to comment on it, and then and then uh, your other employee, and um, you got uh, the uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. The guy that does all the rapture dates. Yeah, he came up with it, and Steve's coming up with it. You know, look, whatever. So when coming coming February 18th on President's Day. Donald Trump's going to say something about 30 days that they're going to sign to try to keep the aliens out of the freaking wall or something because it's like it's like another brick another brick in the wall and they're going to they're going to they're going to probably talk about people are going to probably say it's just another brick in the wall or some crap like that and then from that point on it's going to be something said about 40 days it's just what you guys are going to do. It's what you guys are going to do. And, um... So that's the script. 21 days. And then you're going to talk about 30 days. And then you're going to talk about 40 days. And then, at the end of 40 days, well, it's really when... The first day of the first month... You know, because that's the first month to me. May is the first month to me. Everybody else can look at April 1st as the first month. I just tend to go 30 days later. That's all. 30 days later is the actual truth. The elite are trying to bring heaven on earth in a fictitious way. You can't. You can't. Heaven is with inside of you. It's a kingdom inside. It's, it's where you're at. Where do you dwell? Well, you guys are still burning in hell with your endless desires burning lustful desires of uh, of greed and money and power and uh, so you are still walking in the depths of hell you know like like Lazarus He's like can you can you can you tell my brothers it's like yeah um, it was a parable okay it wasn't literal Three two two, three two one, blast off. Three two three. Yeah, everything's gonna jump off for sure. Mm -hmm. I know it starts now. I know it's happening right now, and I know where that message came from. It's pretty clear and obvious. And uh, I know where. I know where all these messages come from. I know where they've all... I know where the headquarters is from where the messages come from. They just get sent out. That's all. There's a lot of people that work for this corporation that... Uh, I mean, I, I do surveillance too, you know? I take... I, I eat pulse. Uh, I check... I check the, uh, the heartbeat of America... And the people. I check the pulse of, of Trump and see what he's up to. I don't eat the portion of the king's meat because you guys aren't giving me any meat in due season. And um, and I'm not drinking your water. I, I, I drink, I'll drink my own water, thanks. This gospel here is, uh, well, it leads to life. Your gospel leads to death. 
Not the good kind of death. Not the not the kind of being destroyed and then being resurrected. Not that kind. <clears throat> so I think that's it. I think I covered all the basis of the numbers that are going to come about that people are going that Trump's going to talk about. It will be on the news. There's no way Trump's going to alter his script. Steve has to alter his script sometimes because uh, because you know people people know people know what I'm saying is true. They know that it comes true, and others are in denial. Some don't want to hear it. Some get jealous. Some get envious. They hate me because of it. All I can tell you is, uh, I had a dream, you know, just like Joseph did, that all my brothers were going to be kneeling down, uh, just at one time, just the one time. But they're really kneeling down. They're kneeling down in front of me, but they're kneeling down to God because of the humiliation and the sorrow that they have in their hearts that God is finally going to turn them around and let them see their sin. And I'm going to be there to, to, to uh, you know, however that happens, I'm there to, to lift you guys back up and tell you that, because you, you guys are even going to say the same thing that, that Joseph's brother said is even at the end they even still doubt and said he's just gonna because of what we did he's gonna he's gonna smite us or kill us or whatever no man that's not what I'm gonna do at all I'm there to forgive everybody because I completely understand that it's just a strong delusion that God sent and how can't I feel so damn good and great when it finally happens you finally see what I've seen afar off, and then you finally turn and repent, and you guys are cleansed. Then we can all chill out and reminisce about the times of, you know, the, the videos that were made and the stuff that was said. I, I will be glad to remind you of the stuff that I said that came true. And um, because it's, it's a good feeling to know that you're literally listening to God, what he's saying. Like, I'm not, I don't go to God asking him for anything, really. I, I just don't. I mean, he he comes to me and tells me what I need to do. And I just say, okay, look, whatever it is, God, that you need me to tell these heathens, I will do it. I don't care how much my life is in danger or how much they threaten to torture me to death. I don't care. I'm just going to have faith that you've given me the correct message.